At this place in history, we're at Lincoln Park in Enosburg Falls with Steve Perkins, executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. And Steve, someone widely known for playing in parks very different from this one, brings us here this week. Uh, certainly, Mike. Yes, one of Vermont's uh, best known and most successful baseball players, Larry Gardner, born right here in Enosburg Falls. We're going to go head down and meet with Tom Simon, who wrote the book Green Mountain Boys of Summer, to tell us all about Larry's extensive Major League Baseball career. Terrific. Let's meet him. He grew up in Enosburg Falls at a time when that village was at its actual peak of prosperity. There was money in the town because of, of the liniment. Um, factory. He happened to be playing in the Franklin County League the, during the summer after his senior year in high school. And that league only existed for a few years, but he happened to be there right at the right time to be spotted by all these UVM players. Then they recruit him to come to UVM and he arrives. His freshman year is the very beginning of Centennial Field. He turns out being the very first batter in, in UVM uh, history at Centennial Field. Um, and then he happens to be in Burlington that summer in the very last season of the Northern League. He was playing in a very high caliber league against former major leaguers and, and future major leaguers. Then, of course, he ends up with the Boston Red Sox and is there for the first game in, in Fenway Park. He also got to play for them in three different World Series, all of which they won. But then he ends up um, going, well, he spends one year in Philadelphia, which was, which was, um, a rough season, but then he ends up in Cleveland with his with uh, his old buddies Tris Speaker and Smokey Joe Wood. His first year there, they end up in the World Series and win. And when you look at the other third baseman in the American League during the time he played, there's really only one that comes close, and that's Frank Baker, who home, better known as Home Run Baker, um, who is of course in the Hall of Fame. And and Larry Gardner is not in the National Baseball Hall of Fame, but he is in the Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame. He made his way back to UVM for quite a long time, too. Yes, he uh, became the baseball coach for a couple of seasons. And then um, there was an opening at, as the athletic director, and he moved up and, and became the athletic director. Um, there are lots of places in Burlington that, you know, have Larry Gardner connections. If people might wish to uh, expand their own Larry Gardner connections. Obviously, Tom, your book, uh, The Green Mountain Boys of Summer, is a great resource for people to turn to. Uh, what might some others be that people could seek out? And the one that immediately jumps to my mind is The Glory of Their Times. Um, Larry Ritter, back in the 1960s, went around collecting the stories from all these players from Larry Gardner's era. Another book that I highly recommend is called The Pitch That Killed. Larry Gardner was there. So that, and that book is, is my favorite book ever written on any subject is so beautifully done. From Enosburg Falls to UVM to the Red Sox Hall of Fame at this place in history.